Basically, this is the instruction. It says the document contains practice tests that show each part are social part after grade three transitional math assessment is like. Practice tests may be used at Omar school for a student to become familiar with the ILEAP test that they will take in the spring 2030. So this was a past paper, all right? It's abroad. It can help students be more relaxed when they take the actual test. So this is just a preparation but i find it to be very good it, i think it's more critical thinking um i like it is i like it is i'm not gonna lie about it so what i want you guys to do is for the students you are going to try doing the test before me each question you're gonna attempt it before me and it will compare answers if mr bennett is wrong then you text me and say um, in the comment section and say, Mr. Bennett, I think you got that one wrong. I'm not the type of person who's gonna shut you down or anything, all right? So let us do the test together. You're gonna do it first and then I do it. Let's get ready to rumble. Yo, 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 it's a hot All right, guys, so you're gonna do this. Um, so his first one says, Meg puts straw in three quarter of the glasses on table on a table. Which model could show all the glasses on the table after Meg put in the straws? So basically, just to explain it, what you have to do, we have to find whether A, B, C, or D, which one of them represent three quarters of the glass with straws in the glass? All right. So basically, in Jamaican term, our term, find the set that has, find the set of glasses that has three quarter of straw in the glasses. All right. Let's go. I will be timing you guys and you go ahead. Is it A, is it B, is it C, is it D, is it E? All right, so by now you guys would have or should have finished. All right, so let's go. All right, now this only has one out of three, so this is not three quarter, right? This is how I want you guys to look at it practical, right? This out of four cups, this has three, so this would be three quarters. So the actual answer is B. Look at this, this could be very tricky because some students will say, well, Three have been trying and four and a bean, but guess what? It's seven cups. So this is actually three out of seven, and this same way is four out of seven. So after know the difference, fraction is a very critical component. All right, I hope you guys got B. Let's move on to number two. Let's go, let's get ready to rumble. All right, guys, let's look at number two. I'm gonna read for you, but I know you guys can read. Wendy bought 30 packs of gum. Each pack had five pieces. She multiplied 30 by five to find the number of pieces of gum she bought. How many pieces of gum did Wendy buy? So go ahead and do that one. And similarly, this one also, Jimmy and Kima are going on a trip. They will drive for three days. First day, they will drive 182 miles. Second day, they will drive 
439 miles. On the third day, they will drive 217 miles. Which expression is the closest estimate of how many miles Jimmy and Kima will drive on the trip? So go ahead and do those two. And remember, do it without your calculator. All right, so let's go. So we multiply 30 by five. This one is pretty straightforward. Three, five, zero, zero, five, three is 15. So that would be C. All right, let's move on to number three. So Basically, we're ready to ready. So we, all we need to do is to add up the number of hours. So it's 182. Guys, don't get cute to these questions, all right? Make sure you add them and then you compare. That's it. That's the safest thing to do. Don't look at it and say, eh, could be B, could be A. Remember, these are basically the marks that you must get. Let's ensure you get these marks. So let's just add the total that they actually did, and then we can compare it with these. And the closest one would be the winner. All right, so nine plus seven. Oh, Lord, why, why is that? That's 16 plus two plus 18. Eight, carry the one. Remember, I did this stuff already how to add this. So important it is. Eight and one nine and three twelve and one thirteen. So three thirty one, one hundred, two hundred, six hundred, eight hundred and thirty eight. So what we're gonna do now is to basically add these and see which one of them comes closest to to eight thirty eight. All right. So one fifty and this is five fifty. Right. 150, 550, so this is 750. Basically, it's like addition, but we're rounding up. That give you 800. This is pretty close. Only need to drop 38. All right. Let's look at this one now. This is two, this is 850. This is pretty close. I think this is the winner you know, as the only drop of 12. Right? We're going to find that one here, 700, 900. So guys, ask yourself, out of 800 and 850, which is closest to 838, right? And that would be C. I hope you guys did that. Guys, do not take any question for granted. Just go hard and done, all right? Then I'll explain it telling you that. All right, guys? Yeah, man. And thank you guys so much for being a part of my channel. If you are not yet a part of my channel and you wish to subscribe, you are free to do so. All right, we're going to go on to number four. And you got the same procedure. You're going to attempt the question first and then look at the solution. All right, so let me just read number four for you and then you can go ahead. As you can see, no calculators are allowed. Kayla is lying on her towel at the beach. The towel is a rectangle that is three feet wide and six feet long. Use the key below to answer the question. So one of this box is one foot. So which of the model, which figure model is the size of Kayla towel? All right, so go ahead and do that. But tell me what you can put it in the comment section if you're alive. All right, let's say number four B, or if it's four A, or if it's four D, or it's four C, whatever. All right. All right, let us examine each one of them. I'm assuming you guys pick it by now. Since it's not calculation, you're just um, examining it. All right. 
So let us take up this one. This one has, and guys, for the people who want to say, I don't talk too much in my video. It's explanation. I have to explain. So this is three across and three down. So this is a three by three. All right. So we can we get other one there. So we need three by just look at these. One, two, three, four, five. So we can cross out the member do we? Elimination method, right? Check, examine each one of them and see. Let's just go now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it fit one criteria, six feet long. See, right? So it's six feet long. Let us see if it's three now. One, two, three. We have a winner. So that would be C. All right. Hope you guys got that. Let's move on. And this is era, guys. This is era, right? Era for rectangle is a length times the width, or you can just count the number of square units. In this case, it's foot. So you count them all. Three by six. What will be the area of a three by six rectangle? Think about that, guys. What would be the area of a three by six rectangle? You can leave it in the comment section. Let's write four, put a dot, and put the answer. If you want to put it in bracket, no problem. Let's move on to number five. All right, here we go to number five and number six. So it says, Samantha has 342 baseball cards. You can know some America is no peeps. Samantha has 342 baseball cards. Perry has 184 baseball cards. How many more baseball cards does Samantha have than Richie? All right, so go ahead and do that one. Leave it in the comment section. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, let's do it. Receive number six. Katie is going on a vacation for three weeks. She finds the number of days of work she will miss by, multi by multiplying by five times three. Which expression shows another way Katie can find the number of days of work she will miss? All right, so let's move up back to number five. What did you guys get? Let's go, let's go. Come on, guys, type it in. If you're an adult, I did it. Type it in same way, all right? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, big up. Welcome to the new subscribers. Then. I notice my channel keep going, going, going. I'm gonna start work it for that semester. You know, peeps. Crazy work, you know. It's gonna start work yet. All right. Things are on now, my channel for a long time. I tell you, you know, it's a poor people channel. You can come learn. All right. So basically, guys, we have to find the difference, right? So we just spread. So three part two and difference mean to give me another name for difference. Come on, guys, type it in. What's another name for difference? You can say subtract. I see subtract. Do I see minus? Do I see takeaway? Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Subtraction, you know? Yeah. Order of operations. All right, so let us see. Can we take away four from two? No, we can't. So guess what? We have to borrow from a neighbor, you know, because I don't know anything go. Borrow one. But if the one of borrow is a 10, right? So 10 and two make 12. So now take four from 12, leave eight. Right, it and borrow from a neighbor and he run short, you know. You know? So you have to do a borrow from P neighbor. So you borrow one. All right, and this is a 10 in barrel, so this is a 130 and this is a 80. All right, so if you have 130 and take away 80 from it, 50 out. I see there a five, five, um, tens this, you know, so this is a value of this a 50. You know, I'm gonna do a, a, um, a video on this. All right, two take away one, leave one, so you have 158 more, so this would be a all right. 
All right, let's look at number six. Pretty straightforward. Five times three is 15. You're going to ask yourself now, which of these can give you 15? Let's check it out. As guys, I want you guys to think critically. Don't just think on an answer. You know? Right? Three and five are eight, so I know that. Someone you know, doing an exam, elimination method. That's a foolishness. Three plus eight, that's a nine. Cross out that, that's not 15. Five plus five are 10, and that's 15. So we need not to go no further because I want to answer it. All right, guys. So you can use elimination method to do your work. Don't worry about it. So when it got you, just keep watching and keep learning. Practice makes perfect. All right. Let's move on to number seven. All right, guys, Mr. Bennett, appreciate you guys so much. All right. So Carlos drew an odd number of circles and an even number of squares. Which circles and square did Carlos draw? So let us examine what is an odd number. An odd number is a number when you divide it by two, there's a remainder. So if it's not hard, it's even. When I divide it by two, there is no remainder. So them say, let us put it, I always write about the information, circles must be even. Just make a note to yourself because you are read something guys, you can't make stuff up. You know? And the square, no. Oh, odd, circular odd, right, sorry. Sorry about this, circular odd, you see it? So my table, did I just prove what I'm saying to you? So circle must be odd and this must be even. I bet you guys didn't even make code that I make a mistake. All right? So with this even, so I could eliminate the even one then first. That's right, this even. Four is an even number. Two is an even number. So we eliminate them two here. I could focus on them two here, right? It says, it must be hard. So three is an odd number and three is an odd number. So it can be one of them two. But let us go to the second condition. The number of squares must be even. Let us see one, two, three, four, five. Five is not an even number. So cannot be this, it's hard, right? Both of them are odd. And it say one must be, the circles must be odd and the squares must be even. So it is D. Because both of these are odd, right? So this is odd and this is even. So it is D. All right, guys. Hope you guys pay attention closely to what the question asks. Don't just do your own thing. All right, let's move on to number eight. So we are at number eight. At least, at least has eight buckets. Each bucket has T tennis balls in it. There are a total of 56 tennis balls in the bucket. Which number sentence shows how to find the T, the number of tennis balls in each bucket? All right, guys. So you say you have eight buckets. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And it must total 56. So they are saying no. Eight times what? As you remember, you know, eight times T would give you 56, right? Because it's how many, it's equal number in it. So that would be B. So guys, sometimes it's not all the time, it's going to be cal calculation, it's gonna be like common sense, it's gonna be like critical thinking. So you guys must be ready, you must be ready. All right, move on to number nine. I'm gonna give you at least four minutes to do this one. This one is very 
reach. A lot of reading. It's not really hard, but it's a lot of reading. So go ahead and do this one. All right. Let's read in time. Max and Jonathan were picking strawberries. Max picked 187 strawberries. Jonathan picked 223 strawberries. Together, they ate 26 of the strawberries. Which expression shows a way in which the total number of strawberries Max and Jonathan have left? So before we can find out how many they have left, first, let us find how many they had in all. right? How do we find? How many they were they adding all? Correct. We add them, right? You have 10 fingers, me have 10. Together, we have how many? Or what do we do? Fingers are 20. We add them, right? So let's add these first. And then we can get 3 plus 7, that's 10. 1 carry 0. 8 and 2, 10. And 1, 11. 1 carry 1. So this gives us 410. So we're going to find out which of these values is equal to 410. No. Remember, they add they ate 26. Whenever I remember that, I'm telling Mr. Bennington, I remember I said, the man, them eat it together. Not each, you know, together they eat it too. We don't know how many each person eat. One probably eat 25 and one eat one. <laughs> oh, God. Or they can eat the 13, 13. Don't know that, but they don't care, right? All right, so let's subtract six from one. You can't see them borrow again. So this leaves zero. There are one. Six from one give you. Six from 10 give you four. Two from zero, you can't. So you borrow. Two from that leave. Two from that we put it, and then so that's three eighty four. So what we want to find now, which of these values is equal to three eighty four? So you know we have to go add and subtract. I will borrow this system to pick I will a power walk. One nine. At the four nine and two eleven one one that's four fourteen minus thirty zero from four four three from one three from one you can't see yeah. our three from that leave thirty three from forty one thirty So I say it there, 384. Now if we're gonna further. Guys, again, check if you're seeing an error. All right, so let's move on to number 10. We can't go in Spanish. All right, 10 time now, 10 time, get it? 10 time, all right? So dollar music lesson begins at 3.30 p.m. Lesson is 45 minutes long. Which clock shows the time our music class ends? So guys, look at what it is saying. What time would the class end after the 45 minutes? So free that phone and run the answer. All right, let us find out what time it should end and then we'll see if we can find it on any one of these clocks. All right, so we start at 3.30. Half an hour from 3.30, it will be 4 o'clock, and then, so it's 4.15, right? So which one of these clocks is saying 4.15? Remember how it's going on? It's like, right, when, when it comes to the um the minutes, it's come at 0, it's at 5, it's at 10. Just remember that, you know, it's 15. 
20. We are going good so far. No, we're not going good so far. And then 25. I see the half an hour here, 30 minutes. We call it half an hour, you mean? 35. It's a 40. Oh, I'm not right. Good one to me. I'm nervous. I'm feeling some minutes. I'm feeling of spinning, man. Feeling of spinning. Come on. I'm disappointed. Well, technically, this can be 60 also, right? It depends on where you look at. All right. So we start at zero. All right. So we're going to. So which one of this? This is a 410 or so. So we can say this is a 410. All right. You know, learning. I'm going to just run those two questions. So this is a 410. This is not a 410. So we can eliminate that. Oh, Lord. But this one now is saying 4. We still have to look at the other two and see what they must say. Woo! This one is saying four. Remember the nine hour? 45. Right? So it's a 15 to 5. This one, no. This look like it as a 315. The one I could have tricked people, but that 315 is not peeps. Notice the short and is the hour on, on three. Don't go down. For it to pass before, it have to pass four. So our answer is D. All right. Let's move on to eleven. All right. Number eleven now. Let's go. 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 All right. All of Bella photos are in eight photo books. Each photo book has twenty-five. Photos. So each book consists of 25 photos, no more, no less. Which expression shows how to find the total number of photos Bello has? Is it 25 divided by 8? Is it 25 minus 8? Is it 25 plus 8? Or is it 25 multiplied by 8? All right. So we're not going to spend a lot of time on this one. It is D. Very good if you got that. Let's move on to the Gwen you now. Gwen wrote the number pattern below on a piece of paper. What are the next two terms in Gwen's pattern? Gwen, Gwen, you are Gwen. So your pattern I deal with now. See, she, she left from one to five. What she, did she do? All right, she left from five to nine. What did she do? Wow. And then she left from 9 to 13. What did she do? So each time is a step and it must be consistent. All right. So from 1 to 5, we could try add 4 now, see if it works. One, 1 plus 4, that's what? 5. 5 plus 4, that's 9. Yeah, man. 9 plus 4, that's 13. So we're going to add this plus 4. And then we are going to get what? 13 plus that is 17. And then we we'll add 4 to 17. I look like 21. All right, let's see what I go on with the answer then. No? So the next, the next two should be 17 and 21. And that would be D. Here we go. All right, so let's move on to the bad lucky number, as some people call it. And I believe in that, do you know? All right, all right. I believe in it. Believe in a God and in a field. Beatrice wants to divide 54, 54 granola bars into six bars. Which pattern can Beatrice use to model divide 54 granola bar in six bars? All right, so make me it, huh? So she has six bars. How many must go in each bag? Mm. Think about it, guys. Six bags. How many go in each box to give you 54? So what number you add six times or six times what give you 54? Or you can say 54 divided by six. Because uh, since it's six box, you divide 54 by six because it must be shared equally, right? So technically, which one? It must be six of them 
the fancies of nine. So I'm going to save them of six first. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six bugs. Let us check how many in each bug. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six are 36, right? So it's not this. Some want to deal with the thing for finding the money. All right, let us see now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see how many in all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is eight by six. This is not eight, six are 48. And so we have a problem they say no. I know that. All right, let us see if you see of six bugs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let us see how many in each bug. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is correct. Very good if you got that. Very good. I like all the Americans do the thing. It's critical thinking. All right. I, I really appreciate that. Let's move on to number 14. All right, my comments 14. The items shown are Walter's desk. So you have one ruler, one pencil, this, one scissors, this, one glue, this, one pencil. Oh, a two pencil. You have a medicine of peeps, a two, one pencil, this, two pencil. This. All right, my question is, okay, sense. What fraction of the items in Walter's desk are pencils? Wow. So we can do a fraction, right? We have to say. How many in all? The whole. That will be the denominator. The whole. Double H O L E. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. So we have five items, right? In all, he has five items, and that's the denominator. All right. And how many pencils there are? One, two. So it's two out of five. And that will be B. So we're gonna move on to 15. I like I like that one. Even though technically, guys, this is not a fraction, because a fraction, the parts must be equal. But I guess I, I kind of understand what the concept, what they're trying to say. But technically, this cannot be a fraction, all right? But let's move on to 15. All right, all right. So look at 15 now. A package of paper towel has 12 rows of paper. 12 rows of paper towels in it. Mr. R. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's Mr. Kelly, not R. Kelly. I hope him don't drop theme towel, all right? So Mr. Kelly wants to put an equal number of rows of paper towels into four rooms. He uses the number sentence below to find the number of rows of towels teeth he should put in each room. And I'm said 12 divided by T is equal to four. All right, let's see what they say now. Which number sentence shows another way? Mr. Kelly can find the number of rows of paper towels he should put in each room. All right, so they could have 12 divided by, 12 divided by T is equal to four. And they want us to basically transpose and say, how else they could have gotten that, right? Let's see if I understand the question. A package of tools has 12 rows, right? So it have 12. Each pack of 12 rows. I'm not sure I understand the question after I read it, but I'm met it. All right. He wants to put an equal number of towels into four rooms. Okay. So in all, he has four rooms. All right, and then now he uses the number sentence below to find the number of rows of paper towels T 
E could put in each room, right? So 12 divided by T is equal to 4. And they go on and they say, now, which number sentence shows another way in which Mr. Kelly could find the number of rows? All right, let us assume, let us say T was 3, right? Let us say it was 3. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. And they want us to find another way in which we could get that. So let us look at this. 4 divided by 12, that's not correct. 4 minus that, not correct, it would be this, right? So it would be this. That one got me a little bit, I, don't, I didn't quite get what I'm saying, but make me figure it out. And guys, this is how math is. They don't set the question very, very good for you sometimes. But you just have to hang in there, read it, reason it out, and sort it out. So this is really All right, let's move on to 60. It says, use the figure below to answer the question. All right, cool, cool. All right, so let me give you a shape. And they say, what shapes are used to create the figure shown? So go ahead and tell me, is it A, is it B, is it C, is it D? One minute for that, please. One minute. Big up Zena, big up Zena. All right. So let us examine it now. So let us identify the face and the top first. Let us count the sides. One, but it's always right. All right. Three, four, five, six. All right. So we know it's an hexagon, right? So a six. Two hexagon, one, one at top, one up. All right. So we know, say, it's the only one is a two hexagon. So we, we gone clear. I could say if we have a six rectangles, right? So I could say, it's a one, it's a two, it's a three. Now one and four, as a, it's a side one, right? Five and six. So it's A, but it's the only one that add both of them. So we couldn't get that one the wrong at all, my friend. We couldn't get that one the wrong. Hope you guys got that one correct. Let's move on to number 17. Show the earned 389 points in the first level of her video game. She earned an additional 116 points in the bonus round. How many points in total did show the earned in the first level and the bonus round of her video? So notice the word and, right? That means you combine them. So let's combine them now. So it's 389 and 116. So your bonus. I know how we play a game, right? So I've been in play FIFA, you know. Anybody want there? Just think me. Six and nine, that's 15. So already we know so I want to tell them three, yeah. All right, so one I get nine and that 10. So now we're gonna further. Five, four, five. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Three more to go, guys. This is part one. Based on the number of views, we can do part two. Joke peeps. 
I'm going to do it anyway. Nobody know what I'm going to do. You know my style already. All right. So let's just move on to number 80. And say, Brian has some cookies. That Brian, go with your cookies. He placed them on a pan to model six by four. Which figure could represent Brian's pan of cookies? Let's just look at A first of all, even though this makes no sense, right? Them say six by four. One, two, three, four, five, six. But remember, they may not fill up in a peeps. So even though these are six by four. You know what I mean, that, right? Because at the end of the day, six fours are 24. I'm supposed to get 24 cookies, you know, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we get the first part. I'm going to see what going on. I said, no, no. Two, three. We have a winner. It is B for Bennett. Lennox Bennett. Yes, guys. Remember, you're supposed to get 24 cookies, guys. You see, these are run, so these are called. Let me teach you the matrices from when you're young. These are called rows. So them run across. They are rows. And these are called. And they only going to show you in this one. These are called columns. All right. So if we should talk about rows, we would have one row, two row, three row, and or rows and how many columns? Leave that in the comment section. How many columns? So, it's not even, it's a five by so. Five by five, right? All right. So, guys, you have to. This is something that you're gonna do later on. That's why it's very important for your teacher to demonstrate everything to you. As you guys are the future, you'll be doing CSEC, but don't worry, you guys are gonna be a part of my channel. So you, I got you covered, all right? I got you covered, my three, four, five, six graders, seven graders, you two, all right? So let's move on to number 19. And I'll just come up with the next plan. I'll soon share it with you. All right, number 19. Yesterday, Micah ate an even number of strawberries. He also ate an odd number of apples. Which group could represent the strawberries? Yes, and apples A, Micah ate yesterday. So I could just record what they give us. I'm not gonna spend long on this because it's, we did one like this already. So S must be even. So I'm gonna make a note of that. So we know that first. And then A odd. So make a look on that, make a look on that, make a look on that. Make a look on that, make a look on that. So make a see if even one, two, three, four, five. For your ways. One, two, three, four. For your ways. One of your ways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we even, I can see if the number of A is odd, one, even, no. Just, you know, one, two, five, come on, the answer now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's eight, that's even, and one is odd. All right, so number 19 is B, and let's move on to the final one. All right, Ron's garden has 42 plants. Each row has seven plants. Remember me talk about a while ago? All right, which expression can be used to find the number of rows in Ron's garden? All right, so basically it, uh, he has seven rows of seven. So you can, I'm gonna spend any time if you do all right, you know, guys. 
Alright, hold on, hold on. These are completely right. Seven rows, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you are gonna fill them out to see which one of them could give the 42. And that is the 42 divided by seven. All right, guys, instead of ending the, the class now, I want you guys to attempt these. So you're gonna attempt 21, 22, and so forth, all right? I will do a video on these. I think I'll stop at 25. So these are your homework. Let me read it out for you. Oh, you're going up too far, man. Come back down here. Which measurement, which measurement would best be rounded to the nearest thousand? The length of a football field in yards, the height of a professional football player in inches, number of people at a professional football game, the weight of a professional football player in pounds. Yo, oh, you know say, yeah, well on the piece, you know say this look chicken. Yeah, look chicken. Couldn't be the football piece because it's an in yard, right? It don't go, it don't go to a toes. So we can eliminate that. You know, man, if I go do that one here for no. Yeah, the length of a football field in yards. Though I think it's a normally by uh, about, I think about 200 by 400 or so. That could be, you know, the question of chicken. All right, the height of a professional football player in inches. No, 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 you can eliminate B, right? Still can eliminate A, you know. Yeah, we can eliminate A because I never said the perimeter, then said the length, right? Normally the length are either 200 or something like that. No near, no near to me. The number of people at a professional football game. Yeah, that legit, you know. If I jump in, can of people now go? Let me see the weight of a professional play. No. So for 21, me actually the 21 for you, that will be C. You're going to do this one now. Kathleen baked 10 cakes. She used the same number of eggs to make each cake. Which expression shows the number, the total number of eggs catching used to bake the cake? Is it A, is it B, is it C, or is it D? As you can see, guys, it's a repeat. Let's move on to 23. Pause the video if you need to see it, all right? Read it again. Catherine baked 10 cakes. She used the same number of eggs to make each cake, which expression shows the total number of eggs catching used to bake the cakes. Let's move on to 23. All right, read out number 23 for you. It said Donovan has an odd number of toy cars. Which group of toy cars could belong to Donovan? All right, so you guys gonna look at it. Which one of these is odd number of toys are. So if, if you think 23 is A, right, 23 A, all right? So when in the comment section and I'm checking, if you guys do it, I can look back and say, oh, that wasn't the case or whatever, all right? So let's spend 30 more seconds on this. Sure you guys can find that one without any us.
All right, guys, you guys should identify that one already. All right, so let's move on to 24, all right? All right, guys, so 24 and 25 will be our last two. Thank you guys so much for seeing Mr. Lennox Bennett channel. You will make it to the end. Congratulations. All right, so let's go. Maria spent nine days on lunch each week, each day. She is at work. To find how much money she spends on lunch during five day work week, she multiplied five by nine. How much money? Does Maria spend on lunch five day work week? All right, so put the answer in the comment section. I think it's A. I'm going to put it on the live right now. I think 24 is A, you put A, 24A. If I think it's B, you put 24B. If I think it's C, you put 24C. And if I think it's D, you put 24D. Remember, no calculator now. Move on to 25. Malik has 240 CDs. He sorted them into two equal groups. Which expression shows how to find the number of CDs in each group? So him say I have 214 R. He sorted them in 12 equal groups. So I have 12 groups. Which expression shows how to find the number of CDs in each group? Mr. Lennox Bennett, appreciate you all. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. This is just the beginning. This is not the end. This is just the beginning. Guys, this channel is going to be awesome. Super, duper, duper, trooper, super awesome. All right, just continue to be a part of it. Watch your videos then. Guys, if you didn't like the video and you want to like it, no, no, it's a good time to like it, right? Look up on yourself. Thank you, everyone. Everyone stay safe and see you guys in the next video. This is Lennox Bennett. I'm out. No doubt.